Good morning, PA Event Camp. What a week we have been having. I can't believe it is already Thursday, our final day of camp, but I am happy to be coming to you for this final day um, at our coffee talk this morning. Um, as you're listening um, or watching this, I want you to leave in the comments what has been your favorite part of camp so far. Um, and if you feel like your favorite part is like yet to come, let us know what you're, what you're looking forward to, because we have a lot of fun things going on today. First, as usual, we have our morning craft. Um, and today we're going to be making some terracotta wind chimes. So that is going to be a fun one. Um, I can't wait to see what colors you guys choose, um, how you, how many pots you put in your wind chime. I don't know. It'll just be cool and exciting uh, to, to see what you guys come up with because you always come up with some really neat and, um, and fun crafts. And once again, one of our resident artists, Kenzie, will be helping us out with that activity. Um, and then in our, af our afternoon activity, we have bingo, which has been a fan favorite um, for the last few years. We are going to be joined once again by Heather and maybe a few of the other bomb gardles. I don't know. We'll have to tune in to watch out um, as we get some help um, calling out our bingo. So get your bingo cards ready and dot markers or bingo chips if you have them and um, get ready for a few rounds of bingo. Um, for any volunteers who want to tune in and join for bingo, um, there are quite a few uh, online uh, bingo card like download sites uh, that you can uh, find a card on. And there should be a link in your daily email too um, that you can check out so you can download some bingo cards and play along with us at home. Um, yeah, so that one should be a lot of fun as well. And then we will have our afternoon craft. Um, this one will be pretty neat. It's a Pokemon snow globe. And I think Amy is going to lead us through this one. Yeah. She uh, has put together some cool samples uh, for a Pokemon snow globe that you guys can create at home. So make sure you check that out. And as with all the other crafts that you guys have been doing this week, please uh, send us some pictures, post on our Facebook page, or if you post um, to like your own pages, use our hashtag virtual Ben camp. So we can be tagged and we can see some of the cool stuff you've made. Um, it's been really neat to see what you guys have been uh, putting together with your crafts throughout the week this week. And you can earn gold coins for showing off what you have created. So make sure you do share. Um, and then this evening, we are going to have the ever popular camp dance. Now, for those of you who might be new to camp, the dance is always the final night. It's kind of the culmination of a week of fun with our friends, and it's always a blast. But you might be wondering, how are we going to do a dance virtually? Because that is a little tricky. But luckily for us, we have found a fantastic platform that's really cool It's called Gather. And we will be join, joining together once again in our Gather room, which, if I can brag a little bit, my lovely husband, Ben, put together a map three years ago now. This is, the, well, two years ago. This is the third year we're using it. Um, put together a, a, a map of Camp Victory roughly, you know, you'll see it's, it's digital. So you, you might have to be a little creative here and there, but if you've been to Camp Victory before, you will recognize some of the, um, places throughout camp, like our, um, activities pavilion and the cafeteria, the pond, even the archery range. Um, 
So you can explore around the camp. If you are new to camp, if you've never been to Camp Victory, this is kind of a cool way that you get to check it out virtually um, and experience it a little bit. And then when we get back in person, hopefully in the coming years, uh, we you, you'll kind of be able to see, oh yeah, like I remember I kind of went in the gather room and checked out the pond. Um, so it's a really cool way to kind of connect virtually. And what you will find when you enter the room is you'll get a little avatar that you can like, you can customize, you can walk around. And when you walk closer, so here's one person, when you walk close to your friend, their video and audio comes onto your screen. So you guys can talk to each other. And you're like, okay, cool. I've caught up with them. I'm going to walk away Whoop, back this way. And then you lose their video and audio. So you can chat with the people over here now. And so that way, if we have like 50 people coming together, you're not all trying to like talk over each other like in a Zoom. That can be kind of hard. So you can kind of cluster around and go visit different spots on camp, um, at camp and um, chat with some people you didn't get to catch up with yet, meet some new friends. Um, we are definitely encouraging our volunteers, especially new volunteers, to go find some campers that you haven't met and talk to them. Um, especially if you wrote a letter that went into one of the camper boxes, check and see if that camper is at the, at the dance and you can go um, introduce yourselves. And now the dancing portion. So we know how we can get there and um, kind of a general gist of what's going on, but we can dance too. And we will have usually our dances in the cafeteria camp. So in the cafeteria, in our camp map, you will find um, the music playing. And we have a playlist put together by one of Event Camp's very own, uh, Tristan, a.k.a. DJ Twista. And he has put together another very cool playlist for us to listen to. Rock out. We want to see some of those dance moves on your screen. There's also a way to make the, your avatars dance. I know one of you is going to figure it out because I can never remember. It's like you hit like L or I don't know. There's some button on your keyboard you can hit and then your little avatar dances. So I'm sure we will see lots of uh, moving and grooving tonight at the dance. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I will be up bright and early, but I'm going to join you guys at least for part of the dance. So I can't wait to see some of you and catch up um, because it's been too long. Um, and yeah, so that's going to make up our day. Oh, and of course, obviously, we're going to have another bedtime story. So make sure you don't miss out on our last bedtime story of the week. See who our final guest um, uh, reader will be and tune in for that. It's been nice to hear from some different people throughout the week, see some new faces. Um, and I, you know, one of the reasons why we are introducing some new faces, at least for me, is we may look a little different next year at camp because yours truly is expecting a baby in October. So very excited to share this happy news with you guys. Um, cannot wait for the newest addition to the PA Event Camp crew. However, might not be able to do as much as they usually do with camp. So that's why we have such an awesome team of our activities crew, as well as the whole planning committee and our core team and board. Um, but so you might be seeing uh, a little less of me, but don't worry, I'll still be around. Um, but excited to, sh to share that with you guys um, and can't wait for um, the new baby Burke to meet the rest of the PA Van Camp family. Um, so please introduce yourselves to new people. If you haven't um, met someone before and you see someone that you don't recognize, introduce yourself. Tell them why you love camp. If you're a veteran camper or veteran volunteer, um, tell them things that maybe they 
might not get from virtual camp because virtual camp's cool, but like you don't get to step foot at camp. So get them excited for that. Tell them what you love about going to Camp Victory and experiencing camp there. Um, Because part of one of the really big reasons we do this is to make these connections, um, to forge friendships. And um, and that is one of my favorite things about P Event Camp is the, um, the relationships that we are able to build and the memories that we make with all of our campers. Um, no, I'm not in my usual P Event Camp garb that I am, but all day today I've been rocking some really nice earrings made. I know the lighting's really hard to see, but beautiful earrings made by Victoria, one of our uh, veteran campers that were sent the whole way out here to Indonesia. And so I think of her and of camp every time we get to, to wear them. And that's just one of the very many connections that I've gotten to make at camp. And so hopefully throughout this week, you have also made some of those connections. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys do today and to chat with you all tonight at the dance. So get excited for our final day. And um, yeah, can't wait to see what happens. All right, take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. How do I end this? Okay, bye for real.